Syed Asad Abbas, political analyst, live with us. Syed Asad Abbas, will the matter end or will the politics continue on this issue? Because it has become a big political storm with assembly elections, of course, happening. Once the elections are over, will this issue still matter? Or will the, is the, what the ruling decodes will be the final word? Well, Dev Pradab Singh Sahab, I'm from Karnataka, and I can tell you over the last 30 years, I've traveled the length and breadth of Karnataka. And I can tell you that uh, be it uh, Udupi, Kundapur, Chitmangalur, um, Mandya district, or any other city or uh, village here in Karnataka, over the last several years, students have been wearing hijab, that is the headscarf and going to school. There hasn't been a problem whatsoever. So we need to understand here, this is completely political. One year to go for the Karnataka Assembly elections here in my state of Karnataka. And also we do know that UP elections enters the third phase as we speak. So this is completely political. Why so to polarize the communities? Taslima Nasreen, uh, Arif Mohammed Khan have made several statements about this being regressive. Let me uh, quote to you uh, the Indian, uh, the International Boxing Association as well as the Federation of International uh, Football Association. FIFA, which has allowed a women's hijab team to compete, so as the International Boxing Association for Women. So I truly think the regressive or progressive is in the mind. It is not actually where I truly believe a woman in a burqa, a woman in a hijab, sari, salwar kameez, or a hijab, or even a jeans is progressive irrespective of what uh, she wears. Also, as a matter of fact, we need to take a leaf out of, uh, uh, you know, I come from a Bangalore city where we have uh, uh, India's first billionaire, self-made billionaire woman, that is Kiran Majumda Shaw, who's been very candid about wearing a salwar kameez and going for her meetings, be it with the international uh, delegations as well. So has Sudha Murthy many a times uh, uh, spoken of the same, that, you know, wearing a sari or a salwar kameez does not make her a behenji. Also, as a matter of fact, what a woman wears does not matter. It is your dignity, your character, and how well you present yourself in situation matters. Also, as a matter of point, let me present to you, Devdutt Kamath, in his uh, uh, submission to the court, also said that the two, uh, the students that he's representing from over the last two years, they have been wearing hijab to the class, but there has been no problem. His submission to uh, Justice Ritura Javasti, Justice uh, J.M. Kazi, and Justice Krishna Dikshit. So the fact of the matter is, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai, Aapas mein hum sab hai, bhai, bhai. It is these uh, uh, politicians who do the dirty politics so that they can divide us for votes. I'd uh, kindly submit to the politicians to keep politicians to your side. Do not divide us. Do what you want in your uh, uh, not so respective politics. The fact of the matter, we need to understand that not allow these politicians to divide us. Because many a times I come from a Christian convent where we read, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, which is a universal Christian prayer. Also, as a matter of fact, when I, in my uh, uh, pre-degree university, I read the Gayatri Mantra, which goes like, Um Bhargo Deva Sadimahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat. This is truly the most beautiful secular fabric of this nation, that we are so acceptive of everything around and we respect each other. That is why when India, we say it's a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic, the word secular means the state does not have a religion, but yes, the state protects the rights of the uh, freedom of religion. Also, as a matter of fact, many of them, Karnataka leaders, have been telling this, especially this leader called YB Atnali says, if you want to do hijab, go to Pakistan. I want to tell this uh, uh, BJP leader that Pakistan, sir, is a theocracy. It's a religion rule state. India is a democracy, which is by the people, for the people, and to the people. Many a times, Uday Saab, I'm in Karnataka and I'm telling you, there's such humiliation taking place outside schools and colleges. Let me tell you, the interim relief order which came in, it states only for the college development committee. Those schools and colleges which come under their domain. But unfortunately, every school and college in Bangalore has uh, passed off these orders. So there is a great miscommunication, whereas even the Chief Minister Basaraj Mamai has come and said, this does not apply to the degree colleges, but there's even more confusion. Also, I saw a video uh, very recently where I tweeted also, I should tag uh, you and your channel also, there's, up. there's a girl who's being beaten on the head by a woman police constable, which is uncalled for. Many of them are being stripped of their burqa and hijab outside. This is, this is excruciatingly painful. This is very sad. To me, Uday Saab, you, I'd never see you as anybody by your religion, but a fantastic anchor. So as everybody on the panel. But these politicians, I beg on your show today, sir, to stop their dirty politics and keep it at home. We love our Maria Hindu brothers, we love our Muslim brothers. Maria Tabas, uh, Saeed Asad Abbas, the question though here is, it's not about whether women should take off the hijab or not. 
it comes back to institutions and schools and colleges being allowed to set their own rules. There are certain institutions where the hijab will be allowed. But whether it's not allowed in certain institutions, does that make that wrong? Does that make that right? Should there be a ruling by a court actually uh, intervening in the school's administrative affairs and, and rule book? Sayyid Asad Abbas. Puja Sahib, I'll get uh, straight to the point, you know. Uh, when did this begin, you know, on the January 5th at the uh, Urupi Karnat Cup? As a matter of fact, I've traveled to Urupi over the last several years and there hasn't been such a problem. Panel universally, even here in India, everyone agrees there must and should be a uniform. Let me tell you, the same petitioners, the girls, Sayada, Zarfa and Alia, uh, take out the admission prospect of the book and they show that we are wearing headscarf, which is along with... Uh, It matching with the uniform. There hasn't been a problem. Over the last two years, they have been wearing this. Why the issue now? Over the, over the last 1400 years, hijab and niqab uh, parda has been there. Uh, Republic uh, of India, it's been there. What is the problem now is the real question. Also, as a matter of fact, when the same school rule book admission prospect allow these girls, and these girls have been wearing it for the last two years, what is the problem? I truly believe the uniform is a must and should. And if these girls want to cover with a headscarf, what is the problem? Many a times, even my brothers, Sikh brothers, along with me in school, wore a turban. There hasn't been a problem whatsoever. So we need to understand, for those who are saying this is not essential religious practice, they've not read the Quran. Quran and Surah Ahza very clearly mentioned the same. Surah, uh, Surah Nisa, it mentions the same. It also mentioned in Surah Noor. There are seven ayat, ayat meaning sentences in Quran, which speak of our parda, veil, hijab. We okay. need to understand this. So then, 